to the NASCAR world. So now we head on to the Xfinity series. They traveled to New Hampshire for their round. Um, now, it was a bit of a weather involved here, um, but they didn't really affect Xfinity too much. Uh, there was a cool battle at the beginning there with Austin Hill and uh, Cole Custer. Um, and uh, everyone knows how I feel about Austin Hill. Um, luckily, he actually <laughs> ended up spinning out anyway. So that was fantastic. Uh, we saw a couple crashes, uh, especially with Haley Deegan. She crashed into Nathan Bird. Uh, there was quite a bit of extensive damage for Nathan with the rear. He uh, got spun out and then hit smack bang into the wall. Uh, well, his rear did anyway. Um, and we saw a couple restarts. We saw a fantastic launch from Cole Custer, who we thought, or I thought was actually going to lead leading the way. Um for that one, but then uh, we saw an epic battle between Custer, Austin Hill. Um, yeah. Um, Alex here is just trying to work out that Chris Bell has won both Cup and Xfinity. I was, sorry, I was so confused. Yeah, so behind, a bit of behind the set, he was like, what's going on? Yeah, don't worry, he's raced oh, in Xfinity on. Did and Did you write his name twice by accident? Oh my God. <laughs> I didn't know you were on both. No, don't worry. Yeah, I, I, I was trying to work that out as well when I was watching. Sorry, spoiler <laughs> alert. Just Yeah, Christopher <laughs> Bell won both races. Yeah, he clean swept the weekend. Clean swept wow. 2024. He's actually won. Uh, this is his fourth consecutive win uh, at, at um, New Hampshire. Oh, right. Uh, not not four races in a row. Of course, we saw Gizzy win uh, back in Sonoma. But uh, in terms of racing four times in a row for New Hampshire, Chris Bell is uh, your man. Um, so yeah, he, he dominated Xfinity and he dominated the cup wow. series, but it wasn't an easy feat, uh, as we'll get into the cup in a minute, but, um, now unfortunately I forgot to mention this, we were talking about this on the way to the studio. They didn't qualify, um, for the race due to the weather. And I'm not sure Alex was trying to ask me like, so how do they work it out? No idea. Agreed. But the main Agreed thing is least. Shane Van Gisbergen started dead last, uh, and climbed his way up to eight. 18th so that's good effort by him of course he had a horrible weekend last time out uh at iowa yeah he crashed, he crashed in practice yeah. crashed in the race uh it was a weekend to forget considering how he won at sonoma um you know joys of racing but he, he did rather well this time around given still working weather. On the weather he's still working on he's the getting overall. there he's, he's getting, getting there and ivan and i both agreed last time he will be a weapon once he nails that oh once he gets used to overalls forget it mm. like any road course, he'll turn up and win almost automatically. Well, and then you got ovals. Funny that you say that because next week is they go to, um, I think, Nashville. But then the week after that, Chicago, Chicago, where he won They're it back. Yeah. Where he won it the first time he oh, raced it. Is, is he doing both? I hope he's doing both. I hope he's doing both. Imagine that double win. Doing Christopher Bell. Yeah, exactly. Win both. Exactly. That'll be fantastic. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that'd be cool. I'm looking forward to that. Um, but uh, let's run through the top 10 for the Xfinity race. Uh, if we go through the whole list, we'll be here all night. Yeah. We're not um, so let's start off with number one, Chris Bell, as we said, won Xfinity uh, ahead of Sheldon Creed. They actually had a cool battle with each other with uh, actually Bell, Creed, and Cole Custer. The top three had a decent battle. Um, yes, isn't, isn't Sheldon Creed the guy who does the, um, the trucks? Probably. That, we we no, see a not, lot of not the trucks the um the one that come uh, come to Adelaide the stadium super stadium trucks. super trucks yeah probably that name rings a bell it does like Christopher Bell well the Sheldon part <laughs> reminds me of uh, Big Bang Theory all right, but, I'm, gonna, I'm just googling like all right Christmas. you're gonna do that while we do that but I wouldn't be surprised anyway uh, and then we've got Cole Custer in third with Justin Allgaier in fourth uh, and then we've got Kevapel in fifth with Ryan Sieg in sixth Parker Kilgerman in seventh with Riley Her Herbst in eighth. Alex Bowman in ninth, and rounding up your top ten is Corey Heim. Um, and while Alex is just checking, he has he? He does. He does. He came to Adelaide. There that you name go. rings a bell. There you go. And they, who knows? I wonder if he comes back again uh, this year when nice. they're back here. Because uh, of course, if you didn't catch our show a couple of weeks ago, 
we mentioned that the stadium super trucks are coming back to the LA 500 at the end of the year. So that's going to be really, really cool. Mm. Uh, hopefully we see some big names there. Like we always do. Um, who knows with Peter Adderton, I'm sure. I want to see Paul Morrison back in a, that'd be cool. Back in a stadium. Super you know, what would be truck. cool. Loved it. Paul and Nash doing it. Yeah. Yeah. The father, His son, that'd be cool. Father, son. Um, but we'll worry about that in November. Now let's move on to the cup series. Um, while we're here. So that was rather exciting as well. Um, so it, it started off a bit damp, um, the race, uh, and then I think they were on the wet tires, I believe. They um, have, they have wet tires. Apparently they do. I think Didn't know from that. memory, cause, uh, they actually brought out the yellow flag, um, just to change this into slicks. Um, actually I like on. that idea. That is a good idea, especially around like ovals. Um, but, uh, that, created some action because we saw some cool battles between Barry, Logano, and Truex, who, of course, actually Martin Truex actually really recently announced his retirement at the end of the season. So this is his uh, send-off, if you will. Um, definitely not the race he wanted, though, unfortunately. He he had a potential chance to win the race this time out. Unfortunately, he actually spun. Um, but speaking of spins, guess who uh, was in the wars again? Kyle Busch. Yeah, that wasn't my guess, but yeah. <laughs> but he seems to be in Wait, the wars. Was Carl on the in the wars on or off the track? No, this time on the track, okay, just good. on the just track. He uh, doesn't have any bruises anywhere, um, which Where is did good. He finish? No idea. Try but uh, he he was nowhere. Unfortunately, he spun and then he spun again, I believe, as well. Yeah, here we are. Gregson uh, and Bush. Oh, they actually good. made contact with each other, um, and apparently, so you know how I said Chris Bell has won four years in a row. Yeah. Kyle Bush has crashed out three times in a row <laughs> at New Hampshire. So, so there you go. One likes New Hampshire, one does not. Exactly. Okay. Um, so that I just found that quite funny. And then Logano and Elliot, they actually crashed into each other as well. So we saw a lot of uh, top contenders, actually. Um, and Bubba. Yeah, Bubba. Bubba Wallace got – actually, he didn't do anything. He got, just got taken out. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's happened last or a couple times, too, in the past as well. Like Bubba. Um, that's all it takes in those cars. Um, if you don't take anyone out, they will take you out. <laughs> it's pretty much how it goes. Unfortunately, a lot of the non finishers in NASCAR aren't, or it's not their fault. No, no, exactly. And we did see, like, for example, Bush, it wasn't that, that's it wasn't his what, fault the first time, but that's what makes it fun. It is. That's exactly. That's what makes it awesome. But do you know what's not fun? What? A two hour and 14 minute delay. Oh. <laughs> so basically, yes. the heavens opened up yep. and they stopped the race midway through. Yeah. And they literally waited two hours and 14 minutes yeah, but didn't to they go do green that, flag racing again. Didn't they do that the weekend of the uh, Indy 500 too? And then yeah, they did, but they just Carl delayed the, just flew in a helicopter. Yeah, they delayed the start of the race for that one. Okay. But the fact that they just decide to just, you can literally watch a movie. Because in, in America, between. <laughs> nothing cannot finish. No, sport they is their number, have, it's number one priority there. They will race at midnight if they have to. Mm. Well, maybe not, but. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. If they have lights at the track. See, actually, I love that though. The fact that they're willing, they keep the broadcast on because it did delay the IndyCar broadcast because now um, NBC now own the rights to NASCAR for yeah, their broadcasting true. stuff, which shares with IndyCar, which of course IndyCar is going to Fox next year. So that won't be a so problem. That won't be a problem next year. Um, but uh, yeah, the fact that they, you know, they, they wait two and a half hours, whereas yeah. in Australia, we would just end the race. The problem with this, I don't know what time of the day they start racing in America, but the problem with Australian racing is we start races very late in the afternoon. Mm. Like I'm talking 3, 4 p.m. Yeah. And then if you have any delay or any red flags, that's it. Yeah, you don't want to interfere with the news or No, but the problem is like the darkness. It gets dark yeah, that too. and then you're done. Unless there's a track like Sydney Motorsport Park where you have lights, mm. Well, that's it. Because Formula One, they have a maximum four hours, I think. Yeah, they uh, actually of, allocate yeah. the proper time. Well, Whereas the NASCAR, well. they just, they literally race the next day if they have to. They would do anything <laughs> to actually finish a race. Exactly. Um, that's what Night, I love about day, it. Day, tomorrow, next week, they'll do it all. They literally race on a Tuesday if they have, like, they have actually <laughs> done that in the past. Yeah, I know. But uh, let's run through the top 10 of that one. That was a really cool, it was a cool race. I highly recommend checking out the highlights, of course, which is available on NASCAR YouTube. NASCAR is cool. Just check it out full stop. Yeah. It's about 20 minutes highlight reel. Yeah. Well, um, they've got both options. Well, there you go. And, and then, short. yeah. So, and they actually raced in the wet, which you rarely see in NASCAR. I gotta watch this now. Which was really cool. Um, and uh, Bell wins again, uh, both dry and wet. Um, after a close battle, there was actually a close battle between second and 
second and third with uh, Chase Briscoe actually leading the way from Josh Berry. And then Cole Larson, the man, the myth, the legend in fourth position. Busher in fifth. Reddick in sixth. And we got the famous Ricky Stenhouse from WWE in seventh. Uh, Nemchek in eighth. Truex ended up finishing ninth after having a spin. And then last but not least, we've got Ross Chastain in 10th. 